Talk to me for a minute about the student component of this, because there are a lot of activists when they uh, are young and in college and people want to get involved, but sometimes the study of actual policy uh, and the way it is implemented is a little bit dry. How do you keep students, uh, 18 to 21, 22-year-old students, engaged? Because some of what you deal with is, gets to be pretty heady stuff. Well, thank you for that compliment. We, we like the heady stuff. One of the things I try to do, Rick, is I go out into the classroom and in several ways. I teach classes at Grand Valley, and I try to share my enthusiasm for American history and how important it is for people to understand where they came from. I, I always tell students, you're learning about you. I mean, quit thinking of American history as an abstraction out there. You're really learning about you when you study American history. The other thing I do is I go into classrooms and talk to students in other uh, political science classes and high schools and that kind of thing. We've been very fortunate. We've been able to attract students. Rick, those students become our ambassadors. They go back out and they talk to their cohorts. Those students come in and volunteer. They will post uh, our clips on MySpace and Facebook. They will get on and say, let's put something on YouTube. When I see the enthusiasm of the students in the Grand Valley community and local high schools here, I'm very encouraged by their commitment. We have students come in. I've had high school students who've walked in, and when I've interviewed them the first day to see if they have a home at the Hallenstein Center, I'll say, what really is driving you? And they'll say, you know, I'm toying with the idea. I would really like to be president of the United States someday. And we chuckle. I know. Sometimes we have sort of a, well, he'll find out. Actually, our attitude at the Hallenstein Center is that if a young man or woman is that motivated, they love this country that much, and they want to make that kind of a contribution, we're all for it, and we try to create an environment at the Hallenstein Center in which they can thrive. So the students have come in. They get to meet Ralph. That's always a bonus. We've been very fortunate in the uh, commitment. So really, um, when you have 600 students show up at a Hitchens v. Hitchens debate, I'm not surprised. Although I still think it's a remarkable accomplishment because it is sometimes hard to get that enthusiasm turned into actual activity, to actually keep people involved. And particularly for, not just for students, but for adults too. We're going to talk a little bit about that. I want to talk about this rare collection of books that you have come into possession of. I also want to talk about some more of these great speakers that you have. And I want to talk a little bit, I'm going to get your opinion on something. All this enthusiasm for young people in the 2008 presidential election cycle. We have been told since I was old enough to remember that young people would have an impact in an election in a presidential cycle. And for the most part, it has never happened. Will it happen this year? We'll find out when we come back and talk more with Gleaves Whitney when To the Point returns.